Hello everyone, my name is Sina Navid and in this video I want to show you how we can connect our QGIS to our database. So in my case is Postgres database. So it's super easy. You just need to go to layer, add layer, and then we need to select um, add Postgis layer. So from here we need to uh, connect to our database. So we need to click on new and then write the connection information like name of our database, host, port number and database. And then we can active here also list tables with no geometry means that we want to see all tables even the tables has no geometry columns so because in my case my database is already connected to my qgis i'm going to go to edit so you can see this is the name of my database the host is eolab.de the port the database name and also i have clicked on this option in here to see all the tables and then I said OK. So when I click on OK, I need to write my username and password. So this is my username and this is my password. So when I click on OK, I can see here the name is coming. The name is Elvas and I need to click on connect. When I click on connect, I can see the all schemas that I have in my database. So I have three schema in here. And if I'm going to Sina, you can see I have four tables in Sina schema. And all these four ski all these four tables has geometry color. And if I click in here, also list tables with no geometry. If I click here, I can see even all even more tables i mean all tables so in schema c now we have more tables and views not only the uh, tables but also we can see the views for example this table as you can see there is no geometry column or this one there is no geometry column but i but as i want only the geometry columns i'm going to deactivate this option and once again i'm going to c now and i want to add these tables these tables actually this is not a table this is a views but it's it's not different in here even it's a table view so i want to load this view so this view the name is nitrate geome and it has the geometric column and we need to deactivate this one we don't need to check primary key and the feature id is message id which means that Message ID is one of the column in my database, in my table. And this is a unique. And I select this one as a feature ID. And then I need to add. And it takes some time because it needs to load the data to fetch the data from database. And then I can simply close it. So we can see now we are connected to our database. And if I right click on my layer and go to open attribute table, again, it takes time because it needs to fetch the data from database. So this is my table in here, message the ID, name, stuf, numa, which means substance number, SR goodness, underscore C, which means the result, unit, and the important, column which means date datum underscore pn which means date so yeah this is what i want to show you in this video how we can connect our qgis to postgres database thank you so much for watching my video